I want to do a quick explanation of how 3D Coat uh, or any voxel sculpting program works by explaining what voxels are and um, how they use that for sculpting. So this is Maya, which I have more ability to show off the exact voxels. Um, to look at this, so what, this is like a grid of voxels, uh, an array, whatever. You basically have stacks of cubes and the cubes can hold any kind of information. Uh, in a voxel sculpting program they're going to mostly hold density but possibly they can pro hold other information. But most importantly it's to best to understand um, that they are just cubes that hold information. So what resolution is is going to be how dense these cubes are. So when you're, when, if you're modeling something of any resolution it's pr you're really going to be working at something like much higher like something like this which is why they often don't display uh, the voxel grid. We're going to work at a low resolution just for demonstration purposes and I'm also going to go back to an easier viewing method. So to look at how sculpting works we would basically add density to the grid. So basically right now I'm just adding density to this area and when we go back here we see a mesh. So what that's happening is we have a mesh covering uh, the voxels that have density. So it's basically just uh, encompassing all of the density. So if, if I can display what the density is, this is the density values. And you may notice that this is what a bias is actually. I'm glad that happened. So basically there's a little bit of density here but not enough that it's going to decide to cover it. So the bias says it has to have at least this much density in order to have a mesh cover it. So sometimes when you're sculpting you'll see that like you'll have a piece over here and then it disappears um, when you smooth because basically what's happening is the smooth is making the voxel areas around it all have too low to, uh, to have a mesh encompassing it. So I'm going to quickly demonstrate what it's like to, when I increase the resolution of Maya, it just disappears because I'm not doing it the proper way. But let's even go higher. This is not even that high. And we will paint something. Let's move the slider. No, locked it. So essentially, it's actually going really slow because Maya is not a voxel sculpting program. It's uh, thinking really hard. Actually, I did not expect it to be this slow. It should work. All right. There it goes. So now when we go back, this is the voxels as uh, as it is as a mesh. And you can start to see that like now you're starting to get details and stuff in there. But of course, as a sculptor, you'd want even more details. But this is just to give you a sense why the computer goes gets really slow. is because it's already making these tons of voxels in order to fill in this shape. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to give uh, this demonstration to give people a better idea of what's going on behind the scenes just a little bit, even conceptually, so that we can understand why things are happening when they do uh, when you're sculpting. I hope this helps.